Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, you will see how to connect your Android TV to your Android Studio environment and enable the debugging. So the first step is go to your Android TV and go to the settings and in the settings, go to the device pref no yeah device preference and in the about and over here we have to first enable the developer option so click on the build around five or six times and it will enable the de uh, developer option your nova developer you can see there and now go back and if you scroll down somewhere here you get a developer option so you should, you should click here and then scroll down here and you'll get the usb debugging option you have to just enable this and it will ask allow usb debugging click ok and you will see the toggle button has gone on the right hand side so once you have done this uh, usb debugging apart from this what else you need is you go back to your network settings network and internet and just click on the network to which you are connected which is basically airtel for myself and take a note of this ip address so you need use this ip address 192.168.1.7 in our Android Studio environment to connect to this particular Android TV. So let's switch back to Android Studio now. Now we'll uh, start our Android Studio. And yeah, so first let me create a new project, a MP project, it doesn't matter. And I can name this project name anything, say for example, connection to Android TV app. This is just a dummy app, I will not do anything. And click on finish. You can you choose any uh, API, it doesn't matter whether 24 or 34. Click finish. Wait for the environment to load. It may take a while. Environment is loaded now. And uh, first, I'll show you the options what I get in terms of available devices are like these two devices, and both are my uh, emulators, the uh, virtual device. None of them are physical device. I can also verify by going to my device manager. And both these devices are virtual device type virtual. Now I will do one thing is I will try to connect to the uh, my particular uh, TV. So I go to the terminal by clicking in this one and then click command called ADB connect and then the IP address. So we took a note of IP address right 192.16.1.7 and click finish connected to this and if you see on top that option should come up now running devices. Why it is giving not able to run is because minimum SDK is much greater than the device SDK which is 28. So for that what I can do is that I can go to the Gradle file and over here the minimum SDK I can change it to 20 probably 26 just for uh, yeah be on safer side and sync now synchronize again and if you notice that warning message is gone and now I can use this to run my app. So click on this. It will run the app on my TV. Uh, I'll show shortly. I'll switch the camera to the TV as well. I'll probably minimize this part. It's not required, and it will take a bit longer than emulator to run. In the meantime, what I can do is I can probably do some changes in my um, app. So by default, the view here is of phone. So I can change this view to the television. View. Probably I'll keep the uh, text view as it is. I'll just modify the text initial text. I'll just name it as instead of hello world, I'll name it programmer world. It's my channel name, and then I'll go to the Java code. Over here, what I can do is so I'll just make a very simple uh, uh, program here or app here. I'll just do here. I'll just update it date will in this so text view find by id r dot id dot text view and then i can print something as private white button say i will make it a kind of toggle button toggle and you can just make it view view Okay. In terms of coding, what I'll do is I'll just do one thing is if text view get text equals say for example programmer world then toggle it to some other thing say for example 
take you set text to hello world so i'll just toggle between hello world and program world else set text view set text to program world So my intention was not to focus on this particular code, however, it took, it's taking a bit of time, but yeah, let me quickly wrap it here. So if I put this button here and give some constraints, and I can name this button as toggle button. So, and I'll just give the on click attribute. This should be public, not private, public wide. Then only it will come in the layout over here. Yeah, perfect. So that's all. Let me rerun this and let's switch to the. No, I switch to the TV, and uh, yeah. So code has come up. Let me click the toggle button using the remote. Perfect. So if you see, the text is getting toggled as I mentioned in our code. So the app is not a focus point here, the focus point is how to connect to the TV. So steps are very simple. You have to first enable the uh, debug option and developer option, not a debug option. And in the developer option, you should enable the USB debugging option and then get the IP address and use the ADB command to connect. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.